who's a Winthrop police lieutenant, has been arrested and charged with child rape. Good afternoon, I'm Courtney Cole. He was just arraigned in East Boston District Court, where more details were revealed. WBZ's Louisa Moeller joins us live in East Boston right now with more. Louisa. Courtney, we just learned some shocking new information from court documents. Investigators say longtime Winthrop Police Lieutenant James Feely confessed his crimes to the Winthrop Police Chief yesterday in a cemetery. Let's go to court now. Feely appeared in court this morning after a back and forth about whether he would show his face. The charges against him one count of aggravated rape of a child, the victim under 12 years old, and two counts of indecent assault and battery on a child. Now, according to his arrest narrative, Winthrop's police chief met Feely in the Bell Isle Cemetery in Winthrop yesterday after learning that Feely was, quote, in a bad way. He found him there surrounded by members of his family and near his parents' grave site and believed he was suicidal and armed with a handgun. Then, Feely allegedly told the chief that he assaulted a juvenile and was apologetic he was then transported to Mass General Hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. The alleged juvenile victim here was also treated yesterday at Boston Children's, where they disclosed that assaults by Feely started about a year ago. Feely has no criminal record, and the defense attorney called this, quote, an aberration of immense proportions. We know a not guilty plea was entered on his behalf, and he was given a $200,000 cash bail and a GPS monitoring device. Now, we know Feely has been a member of the Winthrop Police Department for 20 years, and sources tell our I team that Feely was also a church leader in Winthrop and a former business owner. He's expected back here in East Boston Court at the end of January. Live in East Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Hey everyone. Today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight and accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.